what's going on I am going to do a review and I know this is like mad late because this figure came out last year but I plan to do a review on all the um, SH figure arts of the Sailor Moon Sailor Scouts or Soldiers or Sentries or whatever, whatever you want to call them I'm going to do uh, reviews slash compare and contrast to the actual doll that came out in the 90s so for me so right now everyone has this figure for the most part the Sailor Moon SH figure arts by Bandai right so everyone has this now for me I have that but I also have this doll now this is my Sailor Moon doll it is the Bandai European um, doll that was released back in 1993 yeah and it's based off the the R series so you can basically see like a brooch so what we're gonna do in this video just like in the last one we are going to compare and contrast this 90's toy versus, versus the uh, the SH figure arts figure so I'm gonna get ready to take them out and we're gonna see what we have stay tuned this is what we have here so on the left hand side we have the SH figure arts uh, figure of Sailor Moon here and again there are so many reviews about this figure and how many poses it can do so I'm not going to get into the the details of that and I'm pretty sure by now most of you guys have at least this figure so of course when you look on the figure this is based on the first season season of Sailor Moon of the uh, 90's anime and so of course she has her brooch which is the the moon one she had she, she, she got and she has a crescent moon wand and her I guess you can call her her pet slash mentor Luna. Now on the right hand side, I have my, and I believe this is from 1993. This is the Sailor Moon, and this is the European Bandai version of the Sailor Moon R doll. So this doll was released back in Europe. I don't know which country, maybe Spain or somewhere in Germany, for all I know. But it's the European Bandai version of Sailor Moon. So this is based off the R season so you see clearly in the locket. Um, now just to do a review about this figure um, it's pretty old but the one I have is in good condition because I never really um, played with it. It's, it's just it's been in the box for all these years. This is her cutie moon rod so of course back then they just used gold. They really didn't try to go into really details as far as colors. Uh, there you go. You guys can see it now. And if you look at her bow, it's kind of not red. It's more of a. It, it goes to a lighter, lighter red, kind of to a pink, but it still works overall. And her boots, of course, and this her uh, clear stand. And you see her beautiful face. If we can focus. Can you focus please? Please, ma'am, focus. There you go. You saggy Tixino. So I'm gonna try to uh turn her around without knocking her down. As so you can see the back. Oh man. There you go. Oh, don't fall. Oh shit, okay, <laughs> don't fall. This is the back of her. Of course, the very long, and this is based off the anime, so you see, so her hair is not blonde, it's, it's yellow, like it should be in the um, in the anime. Um, back, I remember back in the uh, day with the, uh, the Irwin dolls that were released in Canada and just all over North America, she had blonde hair, she wasn't yellow. Of course, they stick to the, um, the cartoon version. Please do not fall. Oh, man. Just turn. There we go. Okay. So that was the... Uh, the. 
So, so the things that they have in similar obviously are, you know, the color patterns are the same, you know, in each figure. Um, she doesn't have the um, the feathers in the in the hair, neither, neither does this one. Of course, the the uh, the differences are, you know, she came with the uh, the figure of Luna. This doll did not come with the figure of Luna. Oh, that's my phone. Um, similarities, you know. Um, what else? You know, I said the color, and you know they don't have the feathers. But overall, you know. Both are great toys to have. This was obviously for a child at the time. So yeah, there you go. There's a uh, compare and contrast of both the figures. Um, oh, and also the box. Let me sh let me show you guys the box. So this is the back of the box. Hope I didn't knock her down. This is the back of the box as she came in. And as you can see, this is all in Spanish. And I think also in German as well. And there are the other four centri. Pink box. Either German or French, I don't know. Anyway. But yeah, and so look out for more of these videos. I plan to do more um, compare and contrast of the figure arts versus the uh, the toys of the 90s. And just keep in mind that right now um, these toy reviews I have, like for instance, like this came out last year, so this is would be pretty old. And right now, what's popping is this is the new Star Locket, which I don't have yet, or I don't even have on order yet but watch out there will be a review so these reviews are going to be you know the toys going to come out you know at an earlier earlier date then my review is going to be probably later because i plan to do like all the figure arts and compare them to the uh, the dolls so hopefully you guys enjoy that and later on today you you will be getting a sailor moon crystal review of episode 21 so look out for that today and yeah if you guys like the video, if you like looking at the toys, if you like the compare and contrast, just like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.